Thank you for staying with us on The Pulse. Gary Al Smith with The Sports. And today we are looking back at a weekend of a bit of drama in La Liga. The leaders, Atletico Madrid, had been leading the pack in that league for a while. But for about two weeks now, that league has been shaky. And finally, they've dropped valuable points after losing to Bilbao. Meaning that Barca will go top of the table if they beat Granada on their stay. We look at the La Liga table and look at the permutations and see who gets that title. This is the way the cookie crumbles. Atleti have 73 points after 33 games played. Real Madrid have 71 points with 33. Barca have 71 with 32. Meaning that if Barca win on Thursday and win all their other matches, they become champions of La Liga. Ah, how did they get here? Let's speak to my colleague, Eric Wampofo, to give us a sense of, first of all, how did Atleti lose this 10-point lead at a point um, in the season which they had? Rax, thank you for your time and good afternoon. Good afternoon, Gary. Yeah, so that was my first question. What happened to Simeon and his boys? Well, I, I think they got in and ahead of themselves and probably lost track of, uh, you know, where they were. Now, probably no one gave them, uh, you know, a chance heading into this season, uh, you know, for the La Liga, especially after the type of summer that they had. And uh, I must say that everyone was surprised. And I think that also took them by storm. And now the crucial part of the season was, uh, you know, the team of matches leading to that crucial game against uh, Chelsea in the Champions League round of 16. And I think Simeone was caught in between uh, two things as to whether to go for the Champions League or to go for La Liga. And they went on a pretty bad run, picking up just two wins in six games. And all along, their competitors, that's you know, Real Madrid, Barcelona, and Sevilla, kept on picking up points. And it's just never been the same. Uh, if you look at their first round performance, where they considered just 14 goals, and were untouchable. They've never really put a string of results together in the second round. And it's all been patchy here and there. And that's how come they've managed to, you know, lose an 11-point lead uh, in just a couple of months. Yeah. So, will they be able to salvage it? Let's look through what the fixtures are like for the top three teams, starting with the league leaders, Atleti. This is what the last five looks like for them. Rax, I'm sure you can see from where you are. They have Elche yeah. away, they have Barca away, which they won't like, Sociedad at home, Osasuna at home, and Valladolid away. Well, I think for, for Atletico Madrid, there's still a glimmer of hope. That game against Barcelona could prove to be very, very important to them, and it could be pivotal to whether they can uh, really, you know, stick at the top of the table, considering Barcelona haven't played uh, their game in hand yet. I remember in La Liga, it's all about head-to-head, -head, no goal difference. And so that is one disadvantage of Barcelona. Uh, they lost the head-to-head -head against Real Madrid. And currently, uh, they've lost their first round tie against Atletico Madrid. So they would have to beat them more than one goal to ensure that they have a better head-to-head -head, uh, than Simeone's men. So they'll be keeping that at the back of their minds. If we take away that Barcelona game, the rest of the games do look quite winnable. And they would also have in mind that Real Madrid and Sevilla would be meeting. And those are two of the title candidates as well. So all hope is not lost. There's still some chance there for Simeone if they're able to pick up points against Barcelona. Campaign. Right. We have two minutes to go. Let's look at Real Madrid quickly and then follow up with Barcelona. Um, yes. So Real Madrid. This, oh, this is Barcelona first. Barcelona first. Uh, because they play on Thursday. They play Granada at home. And then Valencia, Atleti, Levante, Celta and Ibar. Quickly. I think... It lies in between the next two weeks. I think they'll beat Granada. Between Valencia and Atletico, if they get at least four points there, they should be crowned champions. Ah, then Real Madrid, the final one as well. Let's take a so look Real at... Mad yeah, sure, yeah. go ahead. Okay. While the fixtures come on. So for Real Madrid, I think a lot will depend on their Champions League progression. If they're able to go to the final, they might lose track and want to forego La Liga and rest some players, considering how tight the schedule is. Uh, but they are not favorites. I think even Sevilla are ahead of their favorite pack for me. I think they'll drop points at home against Sevilla, away against Bilbao, and then at home against Villarreal. So I don't see Real Madrid challenging for this title, unfortunately, considering that they have to focus on the Champions League. 
I'm not going to ask you what your gut says about the title because um, I don't want you to commit right now because you may get it wrong and people may need to come and ask you questions later. Thank you, Eriku, for your time. It's uh, good to talk La Liga with you as always. Meantime, though, where does your opinion lie? You at home? Are you in the office or wherever you are watching? Is it Barca? Is it Real Madrid? Or what? Let's see. Surprise everybody and get it. I'm Gary Al Smith, and that's the sport for now.